Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. Today, I'm out here in the garden. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Just trying to um, do a quick video. Amanda's in the house. She's cooking and going to be canning some today. We're going to get some green beans and potatoes done. Danny's over at the cabin and every now and then you may hear the generator crank up and stuff like that. So there's noise everywhere. So Crazy Days had to find a place where Hank's not barking, the pigs aren't oinking, Danny's not with the generator, the kitchen's not banging. It's hard to do around here some days. So today, I'm here in the garden. It's a little quiet right now. And I want to talk to you about just the courtesy that people have. Yesterday, I worked the election. Um, I was at the polls, or at the voting precinct, and I worked all day. People don't give those ladies enough respect, I think, courtesy, respect. These people are awesome ladies. I've been doing this since I was in my late 20s, and I have enjoyed it because you get to see all kinds of people. You get to meet neighbors that you didn't even know you had. It's one way to meet your neighbors. And we still have the right to vote. And I really, Danny and I, are very much into our right to vote. I had to go vote absentee in order to work a, a precinct that I do not live in. And so I got to meet ladies that don't live in my community, but live in the community over, and get to know them by working with them all day. And food. Oh, man. At the food. Miss Creasy brought um, chicken salad. And y'all, she put grapes, water chestnuts, and dill in her chicken salad. Oh my goodness. I haven't had chicken salad like that in a long, long time. It was awesome. A friend of mine does the same thing. Best chicken salad you ever had. And she even brought the croissants to go with it. Pop that all off. She had banana pudding. And her banana pudding had pineapples in it. Oh my goodness. Six years ago, I wouldn't have eaten it because I don't like pineapples. Well, I didn't. But Danny has taught me to like pineapples, especially we grow our own. They're awesome. This banana pudding was great. I had two helpings. So we ate all day. That's what the workers at the precincts do. They nibble all day. And so we got to know each other. We had fun. And people that came in were very courteous. They were nice. The kids were good. We didn't have any showing out, cutting up, messing with stuff. That was really pretty, pretty great to me. Um, we did have a couple of hang-ups. There was a couple of people that can be pretty Yankee, but that's okay. You can learn to expect it. But the one thing that I see in this whole election is there's very little respect for the election commissioners, the, the uh, workers at the polls, the poll watchers, and all this. People are angry with these people. They fuss at these people all the time, and they don't give them the respect that they need. These people are helping you have your right to vote. It's not their fault that your name's not on the record or whatever. It's not, here in Mississippi, we vote Democrat, Republican in this election. You have to come in, you have to vote either Democrat or Republican. There's no independence about it. We had a lot of people always do in Mississippi. I've been doing this a long time. People gonna throw up it. Talk to your voted officials your senators, your representatives, they're the ones that have it done this way. It actually came up for a vote in Mississippi. Guess what? People voted it down. But we had a great time. I enjoyed yesterday. And you're going to hear the tractor coming in because Danny's headed this way. But, um, and I'm sweating bullets. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's overcast. And the humidity level is just crazy. There's probably a runoff coming in your area, I know we have a runoff. We have somebody going uh, um, in three weeks. Hey, get out and vote. We had 50% of our precinct vote, which is really pretty awesome considering. As much as people fuss about every elected official there is, it should be 80 to 90% at least vote. And we had 50. So guys, get out and vote. You got another chance in three weeks for a runoff and then the general election coming up in November. Get out and vote That's and be nice and enjoy the right you have. These ladies spend their time. I mean, I got up and was at the precinct at six o'clock in the morning, okay? I did not leave the precinct till eight o'clock that night. Okay. Then the two ladies that have to take the box back had to drive from our precinct 
into town, which is a 20 minute drive, wait in line, have the box checked in, and they make sure everything's, the seals are there, everything's right, and then they have to drive back home. I imagine they did not get home till at least 9 or 9.30, which is kind of late. So you're talking 6 to 8 for me, 6 to 9 for the ladies that take the box back. For what we make, it's pennies a day. It is not something you do if you're planning on getting rich. It's something you do because you love your country, you love your people, and you want to get to know your neighbors, and it was a nice day. So guys... That's what I wanted to talk about today, a little bit of courtesy to your poll workers at the voting precincts, your election commissioners, and your elected officials. Give them the respect they deserve and be nice. Thank you guys from Crazy Days.